Hey guys, it's Landon from RH. I'm wrapping up the day here with a couple of videos on Inkscape version 1.3. So I've, I've got an older video that shows you how to set up a basic document template in Inkscape. So that, that basically covers the setting up your page size and your, your layout grid, a couple of the other document defaults. But I found, um, it, it's and that's great, it's handy to have that. So I have an eight and a half by 11 template and I have an 11 by 17 template. But I find that I'm, I'm regularly recreating certain elements uh, when I'm using Inkscape here at work. And so I thought, you know, what I really need, in addition to just the eight and a half by 11, the blank eight and a half by 11 and the blank 11 by 17 template is I need uh, uh, just a, an Inkscape document template uh, for my, my company that has some standard text and colors and some standard layers because uh, I think that'll that'll save me uh, quite a bit of time over the next few months. So I want to show you how to do that in this video. We're going to um, just show you how you might create a an Inkscape document template for your organization, your business organization. So I, I have my 8.5 by 11 template open and before I forget, I am just going to save that and I'm going to just put RH on the front of this. Okay, and I have just a couple rectangles here uh, with no stroke, just fill and some text. And what we're going to do is we're going to set this up so that it basically follows our company, um, follows our company branding guide. So hopefully your organization has a branding guide. If not, you should definitely work to get one. And uh, our branding guide needs a little bit of an update, so I am, um, it's on my list of future videos to do a video uh, about how to create a branding guide in Inkscape 1.3, so I will, uh, I will do an updated video on that. So let me just pull up our terribly out of date branding guide, but at least we have one. So here it is, so you can see it's got colors and fonts. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to set these two primary colors. So we use we use two two colors mainly, um, and so I'm just going to set those red, green, blue values for our two main colors. We've got a green and kind of a bluish purple that we use. Okay, so those are set, and then uh, we're going to set up our title text and our body text. So our title font is Oswald, or Oswald, sorry. And I'm gonna do medium, and let's see. So I will set this to 36, that's what's in our branding guide. And then our uh, body font is Dosis. Those are both Oswald and Dosis are Google fonts. We're going to do regulars, fine, 12. Okay. So we have now the basic elements that we use, and you could do, you know, you could do other, you have common elements to your documents, but those are the main things that I want. Um, you might do all the colors in your color scheme, so you can see I've got a few more colors I could add there. I'm not going to do that in the video. So the next thing I wanted to just set up in my document template was uh, some standard layers. So I find that I'm recreating layers again and again. Uh, which is not helpful. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll pull open the layer dialog here. <clears throat> and then uh, this default layer, I always like to just rename and call it base. I do my uh, layers in all caps uh, just because I'm a CAD user and that's a habit of mine. So then um, I, I like to have a, a couple text layers. So I like to have text title. I like to have text regular. Uh, then I like to have, uh, I usually have an images layer for my logos. Um, I usually have an images layer for my background. A lot of times I'll have an image background. Um, then I usually have, um, I'll do a shapes layout if I do layout rectangles. And I'll do a shapes, or I'm sorry, lines layout. 
me think if there's any others. I think that covers probably 90% of what I need in uh, for layers in my typical simple document. So I've got those set up now. I'm going to go ahead and save this template. So now I have a template where those common elements and layers are ready to go. And hopefully that will save me some time so you can do the similar thing uh, for your organization. You know, you can do this in Adobe Illustrator too, just, just like we're doing in Inkscape. But that will uh, that'll save you time. You know, it's a little bit like setting up a template in Microsoft Word, right, with your styles, your colors, and your fonts. But now we have that for Inkscape. So thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it.